Nestled in the southwest corner of the busy intersection of Jane Street and Wilson Avenue in Toronto is the West Toronto Church of God, one of the most iconic Church of God worship centers in the city. Now in its 54th year of existence, the church has been instrumental in transforming lives and impacting the Christian faith in an exceptional way. So much so that many of the churches and pastors who currently serve in different parts of the city proudly call West Toronto Church of God their first church home. The great church that you see today did not start this way. In fact, its inception was in a more humble setting at 29 Halton Street in the year 1968. At the helm during those early years was Reverend Clifford MacDonald, who was the founding pastor along with his wife, Sister Ina MacDonald. They, through the leading of the Holy Spirit and the support of the leadership and church community, created a legacy that stands strong even to this day. One of such is the celebration of an annual Easter convention to recognize the death burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ. The West Toronto Church of God Easter Convention is known for many things, including the move of the Holy Spirit, the dynamic speakers, the choirs, the food and fellowship. This Easter celebration became an integral part of the church life and has continued faithfully over the years. And this year, we are proud to celebrate its 50th year of existence. Arriving at this 50th year mark is indeed a special occasion and to commemorate it, the West Toronto Church of God is hosting a Jubilee Easter Convention and has created this four-part docuseries to spotlight the Easter Conventions over the years. My name is Lola Salmon and as your host, I'm proud to be with you leading up to this year's 50th Jubilee Convention. Each week, you will see and hear from some of our long-standing as well as recent members as they piece together and recount memories over the last 50 years. You will also meet and hear from pastors and leaders who served this church faithfully as they give their perspectives, experiences, and blessings. They say that you have to know where you're coming from to know where you're going. So let's take the journey back to where it all started in the year 1972, four years after the West Toronto Church of God was established. And the best person to take us there is none other than the founding First Lady herself, Mother Ina MacDonald. She, along with her husband, Reverend Clifford MacDonald, now deceased, traveled from England to Canada to begin pastoral work in the spring of 1968, and the rest is history. Today, Mother Mac is sitting down with Glenn Blackwood, who himself was born and raised right here at West Toronto Church of God. The two will share some great memories as they recollect about the early years. Hello, West Toronto Church of God family, far and wide. I'm very excited today. Um, I'm here in the home of the matriarch of the West Toronto Church of God. She's a mother to many, grandmother to more, and a great grandmother to even more. And today we have none other than our own sister, mother, McDonald. 
Mr. Mac, how are you? Pretty good. You are? You look pretty good. <laughs> I'm glad to be in your house today. It's been a while since I've been here and um, and, uh, and we we're, were talking earlier before and we're just reminiscing about, you know, the old days, you know, and um, where we've, how far we've come from together, how far the church has come together. Um, I, was, I was telling her before that um, I remember as a child, because I was born in the church and I've, and I'm still at the church, and I was tell, reminding her about the time when she gave me, every year she'd always give me and my brother $5 in a card. Every year, even up till I got married, you gave me a five dollars and you gave my wife a five dollars, <laughs> right? And that way, and, 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 and it, it wasn't even the dollar value, but it's just the thought that you are always thinking about us, and you've always done that with the young people in the church. You've always thought about us, especially the ones you knew from a long time ago. You've all, you've never forgotten us. You've always thought about us, and for that, we appreciate it. You know, we love you for that. And um, and like I was telling her before, like mm -hmm. she was a tough cookie. As small as you think she is, yeah. she's tough. But she she led with an iron fist, but that iron fist was full of love. I'm glad to know that the young people were very manageable, yes, mm -hmm. and want to. Uh, we, to have us about them, around, around them, mm -hmm. and everything was great. Everything was just great. Mm -hmm. uh, Sister Vivian and Sist, Sister. What the other? Alethea. Vivian and who? Alethea. 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 Elisa. Elisa. <laughs> you think you can, I? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Everything things were really great. Good. Mm -hmm. Really great. Really great. Mm -hmm. well, we, like, like, the church has been around for a while. They've been through a lot of changes, you know? You know, and a lot of it for the good. Right, so after, after um, um, Pastor Mac passed away, you know, we went through a transition period, and we and we got a new pastor, right? Pastor Peart, remember Pastor Peart? Pastor Peart. Yeah, do you remember him? Oh yes. Yeah. I even have something up there about um. It's his book? I think it's where that lampshade is about Peart. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's good, he's a good man. Eh? He was a good man. Pastor Peart, he's a good man. He what? He was a good man. Yes. 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 Uh -oh. Yes, Pastor Peart was a good man too. One thing I one thing I remember like like when he came to the church. I think he's the one that introduced us to praise and worship. came to the church we never we, we had like someone go up and sing a song but he introduced us to praise and worship and it did for so 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 we started with pastor mac which laid the foundation the groundwork the standard we started with that <laughs> And 
then we went to Pastor Peart. Yeah. And Pastor Peart brought us praise and worship. You know, praise and worship and a professionalism. So, so he had every qualities that Pastor Mac had, and then on top of that, he added praise and worship and professionalism. You know, in regards to ministry. You know, he he actually, to me, he let it seem that you know, ministry to be a minister is a calling, but yes, it can also be more than that. You know, mm -hmm. it can actually be a career, whatever. It's a calling first, but it can actually, if you do the right thing, you can make it a career. And, you, and by making it a career, you can expand that ministry even further. So, so that and and, and I'll tell you, and you 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 saw this, saw this too, under Pastor Peart. We developed a lot of ministers mm -hmm. in our church. You agree, right? A lot of ministers in our church, and and some of them have gotten their own churches now. So that was the next step, right? And so after that, now we he got moved, you know, because no ministers stay in one's place all the time, and we got Pastor Wilson. You remember Pastor Wilson, right? Pastor Wilson. Yes. Oh yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Pastor Wilson was. Uh, good man and and everybody loved loved Pastor Wilson. His nickname was Lucky. Lucky? <laughs> Why was it Lucky? <laughs> yes. Why, why, why was that? Why was that his nickname? Hmm? Why was that his nickname? I don't know no? who gave him <laughs> the name Lucky. Okay, so <laughs> after Pastor Wilson now. So so here we went from Pastor McDonald, who set the standard, the foundation, and everything like that. And then we build on top of that with Pastor Peart, who brought in I say praise and worship and ministry professionalism. Okay? And after that we went to Pastor Wilson, who was one of the sons of West Toronto, mm -hmm. and he, and, and, and for me personally, what I think he, what he added to the church after those two was just, um, just, just familiar, familiarity, you know, we know him, we know what he was about, mm -hmm. and he had, he, he had everything, all the qualities of the first two ministers, and he added just a familiar, familiarity with everyone, with a lot of empathy and just like, because even up to now, even though he's not no longer the minister of this church, he always would call me and tell me that he's praying for like my daughter, because my daughter used to have seizures. And he, yeah. he, he, right now he used to, mm -hmm. even though he said, I always pray for her. And w one thing I appreciate because he knew our family, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And, and you could never overlook someone who actually knows you personally, right? So now after that, we, you know, like I said, no minister stays in one place all the time. We come to Pastor Vernon, who is the our current bishop and pastor right now. And me personally, I think what he adds on top of all of that, he has all those qualities of the first three. But now he's upped the the teaching of the Bible, prayer, and just like a scholar of the Word. He's a scholar of the word, and and so, not and so, and so he he he's so 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 we've been layered. We've been, we've been blessed. Our church has been blessed. Yeah. We've been layered from the beginning, you know, with standards from Pastor Mac, all the way up to now with Pastor Vernon, who is a scholar of the word. Sister Mac, who is Jesus to you? Who is Jesus to you? Who is Jesus to you? To me. Yes. Mm -hmm. What does Jesus mean to you? Well, He is my Savior. Amen. Number one. And I love Him because He's great. Amen. Mm -hmm. Oh my. And He's kept you over these years. Over the years. Amen. See my Salabah. Mm -hmm. He ever, he been good to me. Yeah. I can't forget it. Mm. I can 
only thank him. Oh my! Thank him. Thank him. Keep thanking him. That he woke you up this morning. Keep praising him. Amen. And great, he has done so much for Amen. me. And what would you tell the young people about Jesus? To keep loving. That's right. Amen. Keep loving him. Everybody among the youth for you way. Keep loving Jesus. When it's hard for the young people, what would you tell them to do when it comes to Jesus? When things are hard for the young people, or when they're sad, what would you tell them to do when it comes to Jesus? What would you tell them? Well, I would tell them that... I would tell them that they don't forget Jesus. That is right. He's still with them. Don't don't forget him. Keep loving Jesus. Amen. Loving Jesus is the most important thing in your life. All when your parents <laughs> Don't love but him. you keep loving him, mm. whipping, whipping you not to do, not to, not to, mm. not to, not to. Still. Oh my, you keep on with Jesus. Amen. So I'm hoping that uh, when our 50th anniversary for Easter convention happens, yeah. that you will all be able to attend and this COVID thing is done with. Amen. But I, I really pray that you'll be able to come out. Um, you know, and I'm sure people love to see you in person. You know, and as you, I'm sure you'll love to see them in person. So, until then, we are we're we're we're, we're, we're going to continue as a church. We're going to continue to pray for you, and we're going to continue to uh, uh, yeah, we're going to continue to pray for you. You know, yeah. that for your health to stay healthy, and for and so that we can all see each other again in the near future. Okay, Sister Matt. Can I give you a kiss? Pardon? Can I give you a kiss? <laughs> Can I give you a kiss? That? Can I give you a kiss? Yes. Come, give me a kiss. Yeah. Oh, oh my. Mm -hmm. Anytime. All right. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. So that, 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 this was our major. They are jealous. <laughs> I, 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 I was shy. They don't get none from because me. Because they are just jealous. <laughs> So this is our matriarch sister McDonald. We had a Happy. nice conversation with her, and uh, I hope to see, hope to see you and her at our fiftieth uh, our jubilee convention for our Easter convention. And um, until then, praise God, and we'll see everybody there. I'm sure you'll agree that the conversation between Mother Mac and Glenn was very insightful, engaging, and life-giving. And so I invite you to join us again next week where you will hear and learn even more. In next week's series, you will hear directly from our pastors who have led the church at different points over the last 50 years. They will share about the impact of these conventions and plans for the future. So see you same time, same place next week. You don't want to miss this. May God bless you all. Until then, see you next week. Goodbye.